Hello YouTube. Here's a quick, 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 quick review of the new Indiana Jones Adventure series figures from Hasbro. Six inch scale. Um, really, really nice figures. I'm still waiting for Tote and Indiana Jones himself in the classic temple outfit. Um, but I have a couple of the new ones. I've not seen many reviews for Kazim yet. Uh, lovely figure, some nice pinstriping. Um, a few dodgy paint areas, as you can see on the on the sleeve there. It's a bit odd, but there you go. Um, Hasbro, after all, um, comes with a nice sort of submachine gun. And a, is that a Luger? I'm not sure. I don't know anything about guns, to be fair. Um, Professor Indy, fantastic likeness of uh, Harrison Ford from Last Crusade. Comes with a shield. And the torch on a bone, I believe. I'm not really sure. Now, map room indie. That's the whole thing. Um, extremely heavy figure and doesn't tend to stand on a base very well. And there's n no perceivable way I can see you can get him to hold the staff of Ra in both hands, like the scene from the movie. Um, my blood pressure went up massively trying to get him to hold it with both hands so I sort of knocked it on the head bit of blue tack on the foot as well because he's so heavy he seems to go backwards the uh, the foot joint tends to be a bit loose because of the weight but I'll figure it out but uh, great likeness of Harrison there uh, Marion probably my favourite from the wave which is a bit odd I wasn't expecting it to be but fantastic likeness of Karen Allen the little monkey too, he's great. Poseable, wasn't expecting the monkey to be poseable. You get the frying pan. And great, oh, map Indy, he gets, an, he gets a rope and the shovel, which is basically the same as exactly what Salah gets other than the Staff of Ra and the book. Um, Belloc, fantastic. Fantastic likeness of Paul Freeman. Um, I mean, the paint apps, the moulding, everything is fantastic. Really good. Again, probably second favourite from the wave so far. Salah also, great, great figure. Again, super heavy, so he doesn't stand on the base very well. So if you're going to just freestand him in a cabinet or on a shelf, whatever, he should be fine as long as he's leaning up against something. But yeah, great likeness. Excuse the Yorkshire tea there in the way. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, decent, decent figures. Um, like I said, I'm getting, I'm getting toped tomorrow. And indie, so I can make the Ark of the Covenant up, which I'm looking forward to. But that, I mean, this won't do justice to these figures. I mean, they are really nice in hand. Nice, meaty, heavy figures too. Professor Indy, let's get another quick look at him. Really nice. Great detail on him. Looks nothing like the prototype on a box though, but it is a good likeness of Harrison Ford. You can see him. Right, so the, straight out of the box, the pinstriping did look really good. But like I said, the only thing I can notice is a bit of an error there on the shoulder. But I suppose the paint apps are pretty difficult to do on things like this. But um, yeah, the gun's fantastic. Shield, torch, all these great accessories. Looking forward to the rest of the line. Of course, with the new pre orders have gone up tonight for Cairo Indy and uh, Marcus Brody. And the other alternative bell arc, and there's a whole load of new figures going up. I hope they continue with this line, they're really, really nice. Um, yeah, just a quick run through. If I get Tote and Indy tomorrow, I can make the arc up. Perhaps I'll do a follow up video with the whole wave so far. But yeah, really nice figures, not too pricey. They've got these from Star Action figures, most of these. Um, yeah, great. Great likeness of Harrison. Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Laters!